Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Thanks. Okay, I'm hoping my camera is at a good angle this time. I tried to fix it. Let me see. I pushed it back. Let me push. I tried to angle it where it was. Don't ask me. Oops, I'm shaking it why I bothered it. But anyway, I do have some projects that I'm working on. But let's see. Let me move this stuff. I had so much stuff around me. I had to actually stop, clean up, and I got so frustrated with everything. I actually moved a lot of stuff out of my craft room, moved it upstairs. So right now, until I finish, I am going to be cleaning out my craft room in between all of this stuff. But I did clean off my desk. Um, well, I did earlier. But anyway, I wanted to share with you some of the projects that I've been working on. But first, I wanted to show you, guess what? I got my cathedral, I got the steeple to my church, and I ordered this from Blue Moon Scrapbooking. And I guess because um, they didn't have it when I ordered it, they sent it with my order. So, yeah, there you are. I have that. But this is what I wanted to show you. Um, this right here goes with the Biggs XL. This one right here. So, yeah, know that you need this one in order to do this one, okay? Uh, yeah, you need that one in order to make the, yeah, make the church, okay? Yeah, that's what I meant. But this is what I wanted to show you guys. Ta-da! That is Eve. These are the Creating in Faith stamps that I have been waiting for. Oh, my gosh, I finally got it. This is Esther. You can see, and I want to make sure you can see them. Mm -hmm. This is Ruth. This is, and don't look at the mess I have down there. This is Mary. Yay, I got them. And I got the, this is the Bible books. These are all the books of the Bible, and then they sent you certain numbers and some you know, enough numbers to do the books of the Bible. And they also sent you icons. Yeah, so. It, it, emojis, is that what they call those? Yeah, emojis. They're not. Yeah, but uh, then I got the phrases. And this is what I'm going to use in my books that I'm making. And I want to show you guys those. They're not finished, but I'm going to share with you guys. So if you're coming up with... If you're coming, doing the same thing and you have ideas that you want to share, share with me so that I could come up with some, yeah, inspiration to do these. I have the royal and it has the crown and those things that you do that with. I got some rub-ons and the rub-ons, there are three rub-ons. I think I like these. I think I would like to take these. And because it's only three of them, here's some too. Um, I think I just copy these and use them. There, there are three of those uh, stencils. Yes, right here. No, these are masks too. And it's those three if you could see them. And then it's this mask, and it has the cross, the heart with the cross in the middle. So you could use the cross by itself. You use the heart with the cross in the middle of it. And then I have some larger rub-ons. Yeah, creating in faith. The large ones. And these are the gold ones. You are the light of the world. This one and this one. Yes, and they're pretty big. They they will fit in a big album. And then this one is in gold. Perfect love. Cast out fears. This is 1 John 4, 18. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139, 14. And then this one, do justly, love, mercy, walk humbly, Micah 6, 8. Yes, so I have those. And then I got some of the faith note cards and let me see if I can show them to you they're they're cute they're double sided let's see I'm not showing them to you very well I can never do this anyway so those are 
Can you see them? Let me do it this way. Anyway, those are the, the journaling cards. You know what they look like. All right? Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. And then they have some 4 by 6 note cards. And they have big words in it. I think this is awesome, you guys. Just awesome. And they're the same as the small ones. Yeah. Except for some of the small ones don't have the writing. They just have the actual print on it. So. Yeah. Cute, cute, cute. I think I got, I thought I got two of these, but obviously not. I got, I thought I had two of these and two of these. Hmm. I need to look at my receipt because I think I probably didn't get what I ordered. Maybe they didn't have any more, but I thought I got two of these and two of these. So, yeah, but I wanted to use this and I wanted to use these, the, the woman in the Bible stamps. And, oh, let me show you some more. I got some of Stephanie, no, Stephanie Ackerman. I got some of her papers. Um, and they're journaling cards, but you color them up yourself. So I got a few. I got two of these. You can see those. And this feels like, I don't know if you all remember. Remember years ago, Prima had some paintable paper. And they came out with it. They bought it back out a couple of years ago. And I guess it still didn't. People didn't feel like painting it. Yeah, but it's like that paper. Um, it's a real heavy. feels like a cold press. Yeah. And I got two of those. And I love these because they're all Bible praises. Uh, yeah, phrases. I'm sorry. And then this one right here. I got that. And there, there are four different ones, I think. And then I got three of these. Cool, huh? So I get to paint those, color those up. And they're by Adorn It. Mm -hmm. So, and I got these from... Did I get all of them from Blue Moon Scrapbook? And I think I did. And then I got some of her stickers, her clear stickers. So I figured I would just copy these and use them. I could actually just look at them and print them like she did. Aren't these great? H-E-L I don't know what this says. He I don't know what that is. Okay. But anyway Hmm. Okay, but and I know I'm still looking at it, but um, yeah, so these are her documented faith. These are Stephanie Ackerman's clear stickers, and then those, the other ones were her paintables. Yeah, but this is what I wanted to do with those, um, with those stamps. I made, I was making, and you all saw the the book that I made with the age paper and I was stamping the sentiments on them as you can see yeah and I wanted those phrases because they were just such nice phrases especially if you want to put them in a Bible book or a note Bible note taking book well I made some smaller ones I made bunches but I haven't finished them yet because it's taken me a minute because, first of all, I actually used the smaller ones and I did not take the paper out because, guess what, I wanted it to be old and fat and rugged. So right now, I've gotten as far as I'm using Tyvek, the Tyvek tape, and I think I told you all about that before. You get this from Home Depot, but it reinforces it just like the tie of that paper, except for you don't have to reinforce it yourself. It's tape, right? So I did the center of this with the tie back tape. I actually put it on a brown. I'll come back and show you what these look like once the pages are stamped and the book is, is totally finished. And, you know, I put the binding on. And uh, I'll probably use one of these doodads. 
put it on there to keep it close. Yeah, before I put the bind, well, when I put the binding on. Yeah, so I actually made, so far I've made, I actually dyed five of them, five of these. But that's because I had all this other stuff going on that I was trying to do and I got so caught up. Um, I had to stop, clean up, and get it together. But I also made three more of the first one that I showed you. And they're all ready to be stamped up and I have to cover it. I have to cover them first, but I did get three of these. These are, someone asked me what size these are before. They're way larger than the other ones. I don't have my ruler here. I think I took it upstairs. But they appear to be about, hmm, oh, I know. They're nine and three quarters by seven and three quarters. That's exactly the size of them because that was the size of the paper. And I used the exact same size of the paper that I did, um, yeah, the book. Yep, so those are three that I got out the way so far. You guys, I have a lot of little gift things I'm trying to get out the way. Mind you, I have six sisters and two brothers. So, yeah, I'm trying to, at least for the girls, ladies, uh, get some stuff out the way. But I did want to share with you some of the ornaments that I started making. I told you all I was going to use the little buttons so that's one right there and it's a star and these are acrylic stars and it says celebrate it i know one year i waited if you wait until after christmas and go shopping at michael's or one of them i think i paid like 10 cent for these things these aren't they cute aren't they just as cute as they can be Okay, I started those. I have quite a few that I'm working on, but I'll show you. I'm just showing you what I'm doing with these right now so far. I have the Celebrate. This is one of the um, Little B. I have her almost the entire collection of her stuff that I purchased ooh, a couple of years ago. I never really used them, but this is one of her um, dies. And it comes in, a, I think it's about 26 words in it, yeah. And there you go. That's one of them. But here's another one. And these, this is glass. This is acrylic. If you can see that, that's actually really heavy acrylic. But these are glasses. And if I bought these from, and they come in all these different sizes and AC Moore. I bought them from AC Moore. They still carry them. These little glass things here. But I purchased these for about 10 cents a piece. And I just bought loads of them in different sizes and colors. Now, what I'm using here, remember the modeling? The DAP. What was what kind of paste was that? The DAP modeling? No, it wasn't modeling paste. What was it? Um... The caulk, yeah, the silicone caulk. Well, it really wasn't silicone caulk. It was the, the dap with the little bit of silicone in it. These are some of those little things that I'm using. I haven't finished decorating this, but you guys could at least see where I'm going with it. Because I decided to go ahead and do this because I didn't think I would get back to you all before the uh, weekend. I'm working on this one right now. These are little seed beads that I put on here. And this is the little molding piece that I used. And these are some little, you know what those are, the little snowflakes that's yeah, you purchase like that. I think I got these from Walmart. And those are the buttons. So yes, I'm working with those. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing with the buttons. Um, yeah. Because I have bunches of them that I want to use. Here are some that I actually I'm going to make out of little ornaments. Um, I actually have those. If you could see that is on a. That's the fishing cord that you use to put on the fishing poles. Yeah, this is what I'm using to hang these. Um, and I'm going to hang them off of some stuff. I haven't figured out what yet. But here are the little 
do that. It's little ornaments. This is a little reindeer. Yes, I just wanted to show you because I did say I was going to come back and show you some of the ideas that I was doing with the buttons. And that's one of the ideas. Another, um, I can't show you because I can't find it. I probably took it upstairs because I had to move a lot of stuff out of here. Here is another idea and I haven't even finished it but this is also that glass and it's heart and the reason I put this little snowflake over here is I dropped it on the table this table is tile it kind of cracked it so I'm trying to fix that but this is another one that I bought and these little hearts I actually purchased those from Walmart and they have different sayings on them. I'm trying to find the other ones that I put together. And they were more finished than that one was. But I can't seem to find where I put it. But that's where I'm going with that right there. Oh, they also had, I'm going to use the owls. They had the owls. That's one. And I bought, I bought these from, I bought them from, here's one I'm working on too. But this is the start of it, and you have to use, I have to actually wait until these dry, or you'll leave your little fingerprints on it. But you can actually get the ink stuff off. I'm using a flat knife, I mean a razor. If you actually get some of the clear accent, because that's what you almost have to use to keep these on here um, if you if you use too much just use a little bit but if it goes and I cut my finger look you guys I cut my finger I know you yeah but I cut my finger using this I know now right but uh yeah if you uh get too much on it you could actually clean it off and then wipe it down with alcohol but this is where I'm going with these I think they're so pretty so I wanted to show you all what I'm doing with these little things I want to show you some more of the owls because there's they were two different ones and they are so cute but I haven't been able to get a lot of the stuff done that I'm trying to do so I just decided to try to at least get a couple of completed projects and right now this is as far as I've gotten I got to figure out how to you know I'm gonna change this and put a prettier ribbon on it and um, I don't know if I'm gonna put little dots on it like I did this one but I don't want to overdo it and I want them to be cute so yeah that's what I'm doing so far so uh, tell me what you all think of the button idea. I like the buttons. Tell me what you all think about the buttons. And uh, I probably won't be able to do any more because this is the end of my weekend, rather. Yeah, it's, um, it's um, Monday evening and it's about 5 o'clock almost. Yeah, by the time I put this video up, it'll be past 5. But another idea I had was see these stockings and I got them from the Christmas tree shop. Let me see what year. I don't know what year. It's probably been a few years ago. I want to make these. I want to change them into Tilda stockings. Don't they have these colors for Tilda? I, gotta, I have to look at my paper. But that's somewhere over there. And right now I'm just not trying to find it. But tell me if these are the colors for Tilda. I don't have to do the pink and the blues, I think. For Christmas, Tilda does the reds and the whites and different colors too. Okay, tell me what you think of the little buttons and yeah, um, tell me what you think of the projects all together. And if you do any, yeah, let me know so I could go take a look. I need some more ideas, you guys. I need some ideas really fast. I'm trying to get a bunch of gifts and, and stuff out. So, um, thanks for watching everyone and I will talk to you all later and I could have sworn I had more of these stockings but I think I used all of them 
this is probably all that I have left. I think I've used most of them up until now. Oh my, no, here's two up here. These have been here for a long time. Oh my goodness, I have two more. So I might have to steal my um, decorations off of my lamp. Yeah, they've been there forever. I always put, if I like something, and I really like these little socks, I put a couple of them up, but I know I bought maybe 20 of them. This is all that I could come across, but that's not saying I don't have any more. I just can't come across anymore, and I usually store them, everything in one place. But that means I need to organize, but we all know it's time for that again, right? All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think of my ideas, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. See you. I'll see you all probably Saturday. I don't have any plans. I think I'm going to have to craft. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.